Hey everyone, it's Gab. If you enjoyed the YouTube videos, you might also enjoy watching me on Twitch. You can find the links in the description down below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, hand looks great. Hopefully the sack of fetch on turn one. Not there. Just like we drew it. Young wolf. We end the fetch basic forest. Which could be good for my uh which could be good for my field of runes. I think they usually play on it, but I have three or four basics. Okay, we actually came ready for the matchup somehow. Ordination, couple stone of erect, plague engineer probably fine against them too. Nice, sure. Get it now, make them choose between uh, second green or first black. Let's not give them some uh, extra mana. All right, they don't have evolution or they don't have a third land. Oh, no third land. That's too bad. Um, might as well play Blast Zone. See, I finned their deck and they didn't draw land. That's why. Big fan of Diamond Atlanta. It was one of the few lands that had one of the few swamps that had more than 14 off. They do look pretty clean. All right, they can court now. They can court for free. They can court for Gris and kill my shield red, actually. So I'm not in that amazing of a shape. But then I get to. Push plus shield red. It's pretty good. That's fine. I'm still okay. Can yeah, push. Chip damage from the shield red. Pretty lucky they're stuck on lands, not gonna lie. It's not like my draw was the greatest, but. Okay. Just a tag, Grist. Could sag the blast zone and then sag the spell bomb. No, that doesn't work. It's kind of a non though. All right, I guess I just say go and I. If they minus two grist, I get to sag my spell bomb to get rid of Young Wolf and Takenuma. Field right back. Hello, Shudzi. Not sure what the proper length was there. It was only two O's in your hello. And do that or yeah, I could sag the spell bomb and then blast them for one. I might blast them for more though, depending on what they do. I can do cost free if I do it now, but I'm not in a rush. I can do so good in these decks, especially with Clang, right? You could just play two. They do get to ping. And they do get a slightly slightly bigger token. But I don't think that's that big of a deal. I don't know Bowmaster would be nice here. Really any spell. I'll take literally any spell. Nope. Do I blast zone for one? Probably not. Alright, just shield right again. If they have Yogg, having shield right in plays really good. <clears throat> If they play Gris minus, oh well. Salut Monarch, bienvenue. Oh, le bienvenu. It's like Gris, the way they're tapping their mana.
Des Français, je te dis. Got him. Oui, oui, bien sûr. Ooh, that was a great draw. That's clutch. Yeah, if only I had a bunch of lilies. Playing a little awkward right now, since they have their master in play. I think killing Gris was more important. And I feel like I should be fine. Between the blast zone, the cling, the, the field of runes. Oh, they only have two basics. Or they need second black for some reason. What are they even getting? They're going to get their own shield red, I guess, right? I'll put my upkeep. Or they're getting Yogg. It's fine. Wow, Blast Zone's always so impressive, honestly, in these in these kind of decks. Always super impressed with Blast Zone. I'll take the damage if they attack. And I get to attack back, right? And have Kling in my yard. I could chomp. Seems bad. I wonder if they realize I could uh, Blast Zone if they just didn't have a better play. Edix okay. Edix seems like a fine draw. I doubt it, but maybe if they got it, right? If they didn't get basic. I mean, they would have two floors before they had two swamps. All right. Oh, yeah, I guess Aerial Racing was like, let me spend my mana and stuff. Wall of Roots, okay. Into Blood Artist. Whenever Blood Arts and another creature dies. Alright, it's a little scary. Should I get their wall or should I get their 2 2? Probably their wall, right? Yeah. Reach a and sacrifice a creature. To... Yeah, okay. I don't have Clank to gain a lot of life. Spell. Any spell. Any spell will do. Decent spell. Why did I play this first? Yeah, that's a spell. That qualifies. Field red qualifies. We get to do both, right? We get to draw cards and gain life. Okay, no, let's do this. Or, yeah, I played four. Yeah. I also didn't draw a single one ring. Not that the one ring would be like super amazing here, but I kind of bailed this deck at the last second. Well, I've been thinking about it since yesterday. I feel like people, I, basically, what happened is I saw these Merc Tide lists was only two basic islands. What do you think, Mingu? Hello, Mingu. My name Chai said hello. So you're in chat. Mono black. Or did I dream Mingu in chat? Hey, why can't I see Mingu's comment anymore? All right, here you are. Brewer. I mean, I wouldn't call this a brew. It's been around forever, but yeah, I got coffers and an Urborg. That's my big, big tech. All right, surely this game's over, right? Surely they're drawing that me. They have court in hand. This is the list. I wish I had another win con or two. Feels pretty light on the wind cons, even for me. Mangu bicycle. What about Mangu scooter? He says, "What's Nasif wind? Nasif's wind condition? You, my friend, must not know Yellow Hat very well. This is not a guy who brings wind conditions." I don't like that the blurb now like shows in chat every time. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that. Is it in blurb? Let's see settings. Twitch extension. Oh man, there's preview, top menu, profile and accent, white round, view extension, settings, channel points on, bits on, or view new live feed. Yeah, I don't want that though. I don't want it to show in chat every time. Do I even cling enough turn here? I just ban blurb from my stream. Recording for free, main phase. All right, I guess I'll cling, cling a land in response. Draw cards. New tutor from Eldraine. I'm not sure the new tutor from Eldraine makes the cut in this deck. I think sacrificing an orc token is not trivial and Okay, they can kill my shield, right? But they're still dead on board. 
Seems like a waste of five minutes. I mean, I guess they were not tanking, right? They must have been. Oh, they go up to three. Okay. They'll live one more turn. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> It'd be funny if I lost this game. I don't think I can lose with that Damnation in hand. To kill Gris, put them down to one. I don't even know if killing that wolf does anything, honestly. Since doesn't help them cast Yogg. Let's them core if they draw a non tap plan, which they might not even have in their deck anymore. Yeah, let's start by drawing a card. That's the Eldritch Evolution. Okay, and then I can just kill at the Eldritch Evolution. Well, I guess now I'll kill. It'll push. Revolution. I don't think so. They've already played their one shield reds. I don't think any of it matters, honestly, at this point. Let me update the stream decker. Chipping Jamas. What do they have? Oh, Endurance. Okay. I actually needed it. I actually needed Chipping Jamas. Minnax. Try hard gap today. Just milking every second out of their clock. It's not BM, I mean. Look, look. Extra info. You see how many basics they have? That's not BM. I mean, they're four minutes behind. They've used so much time. I want to keep playing. They think they can win this game. I'm gonna time out. That'll be justice. At least we know they're not ghosting. Uh, does that gain life? Can you gain life is this? All right, I'll I'll uh, I'll shoot them now. I won't let them. I drew. I just drew it. I just drew it on that fling. You all saw. You all saw. I just drew it. Shoot the token. All right, stone seems fine. Oh, I missed it. Did they have a fourth basic or not? No. Okay, thank you. I want Damnation, I want Plague Engineer. Uh, let's see, Kling, Spellbomb is mid. Bothy's on the draw seems pretty good. Necromancia, Necromancia Yogg. Could die to beat downs or shield red. <laughs> Invoke Despair seems decent. Veil's gonna wreck me, but I can't do much about it. I have way too many cards. I guess I'm not going to do Thoughtseize in this matchup. Yeah, I was thinking about that verse when I started playing the deck. I was like, oh, maybe I should have played a Crucible. And cut Night's Whisper on the draw. I don't think so. Playing Decent. You don't really want to have to get creatures, because then you're down a cards. Necromancer Shell works pretty well with the keep one Thoughtseize. I think I want one Kling, maybe, at least, for the grindy games. I mean, Kling kind of won me this game. And then no, not bringing in Leyline, this matchup's kind of questionable. I could cut a land on the draw. I like that. So I should cut a field of rune. Swamp, I'll cut a swamp, be all greedy. I'm pretty lucky with that one Leyline usually. I'll cut a swamp, genius. A one mana play, I'll have to do. But you can turn one basic against the... Um, the field of rune deck's pretty bold. Oh, I didn't update the deck. Export. Load new. Good ping now, but I think it's very good. Dev evolution. I'm going to be in a rough spot. Ooh, insects. I mean, insect was that plague engineer. Why did it play that first? Just giving my bowmaster infinite value. My play here. Do I want to kill a strangle root geist, for instance? 
I really want to be able to kill that wall. Maybe I should have just killed both creatures. Just protect my life total. Insect's not bad to name against Grist. Is this really protecting my life total in the long run, though? It does make a Yogg worse for them. Maybe Edict's just bad in this matchup. I wasn't even thinking. I, was, I tunnel vision. I was like, oh, I want Edict because of Grist. It's a, not a bad answer to Grist. And I forgot it's, like, pretty terrible if they don't have Grist. I think I'd feel so much better here if that Edict had been a Thoughtseize. All right, I have card for four on my turn. Card for four, draw a lot of cards. Super punished. This game might be over. I was supposed to just say going like double edict in response to a uh, chord. Maybe they don't have chord copium. Yeah, I mean, land would have been great. This game is stone two. How dead am I? I can draw a lot of cards. Maybe I do want Necromancia. Could have named Wolf with Plague Engineer. Yeah, maybe. Just killing me in my upkeep or something. Fatal push is interesting. Huh, the nation. I guess I should attack first. This way I have uh this way I have revolt. Okay, when do I need to push that yog? Maybe I just say push for blood artist. Does that stop them? I have to push Yog now, right? And still court in response. So they're gonna court for Blood Artist. And then they're gonna kill me. I push Yogg now. Yeah. But if I let them get artist, let's push save me. I go wall of roots, minus one on a strangle root geist. I push in response. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to push now. Yeah, I think they kill me in response easily because I have these two walls and three undying creatures. Oh, I noted Edix terrible in this matchup. I could have probably figured that out. I'm gonna bring in Necromancia, Thoughtseize. I bring the Swarm back in. Or Alex like decided to just play the value game and not keep nuking their life to roll. I think I can yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was just F6 and trying to figure out the blurb stuff. Let's draw some cards first. Alright, so I can eat a grist, play the one ring, or I can eat a grist. How many creatures can I kill? Push, Earth. I can kill all their creatures. Leave them with one token. Or I can eat a Gris and play one ring. Ring, sack, planeswalker. Problem is if I go with the ring line, I'll like let them cast a Yogg. It's better to kill their boards. Each opponent sacrifices a planeswalker. I think it's better to clear their boards. Because like then I kind of lock myself. I play the one ring and, and I don't draw like damnation, I like fall super far behind. And then this way, I guess I go pretty low, but I still have Edict for Shield Reds.
Oh, uh, Geist. Is that the last Geist? Am I dead? Do I have a cling? All right, that is like an oversight by me, I guess. Easy. Never didn't have it. You all saw. You all saw I had it the whole time. Come on. Yeah, the one clank. I mean, that's what it's here for, right? <clears throat> Grab the XL and gain XL. No, I cut it because I'm not playing coffers and stuff. No attacks. That's a blood artist, right? So I should push. I'm protected. Should push halfling now. Do I die to anything if I push halfling now? I don't think so. Oh, maybe oh, I'd have Bowmaster in hand. Right. So I want... They might have Bowmaster into Shield Red. I should have Clown on my turn, right? Grist. Don't care about Grist, right? <laughs> but I probably... Sh yeah, I should have done it on my turn, because this is also bad for... Uh, if they had Endurance and Mana. Endurance Mana. I don't want to save that edict for shield red. Each opponent sacrifices a planeswalker. But I want to use my mana because I want to be able to. Oh no, I can't double cling. Let's try the canopy land. I have Bowmaster in play. Probably just deploy Leyline. Uh, Leyline playing the combo. How many basics have they drawn? You know they have three basics in their deck. They have a bunch of cards in hand. But what? And why don't why are they not attacking? This game's so weird. I'm gonna lose though. I think I'm losing. I'm massively up on time, yeah. But they can do so a good job. I didn't give it another try. It, it was kind of fun though. Like, you can have a decent edge to in that queue if you know what you're doing. Hello, Nutty. I want to draw in response or gaze some life. Oh, yes, sir. Kind of mad that uh, you shamed me into uh, killing them faster in game one. For the lands, they have three basics in their deck. Let them take pain land from all that stuff. I think I'd rather let them have the peat lands. Maybe not anymore. Maybe in response, I should have killed them, yeah. All right, I guess I need the cards in my yard for Kling. Yeah, I think you're all right. I should have maybe gone up to the Peatlands when I still had Bowmaster in play. I guess I just kill Bowmaster, as sad as that sounds. Uh... Okay. Hmm. 
Uh, patience from Zoe. I'll go for the throat. It's like, do you really have a bone master there? All right, I need to not die. I need to just not die in that third game. Maybe I don't bring in Necromancia. I think it was kind of MVP again. I have a t-shirt with Patience from Zill, which got him for Creative Major. Really nice. The instant draw two for two black is just so much better now. I don't know what card we're talking about. Just adding one mana to a spell is just a minor detail. Don't worry about it. Actually, I would always recommend if you're playing a card and there's a card that does something better, but it costs one more mana, I would just always play the card that costs one more mana and has a better effect. I think that's pretty good heuristics to uh, to build your decks. What could go wrong? All right, these edicts were pretty bad. One and a B? I don't know what card you're talking about. And there's a phone call quick from my hand, the card Fling to Dust allows me to choose a card in any different way from but that's not all any explosives any good in this matchup. Um not when you can't cast it for more than one. Okay, so what was the card that someone was trying to tell me about here? No young wolf. Nice. Young wolf was just GG here. Game would have been over. All right, first land secured. I would have taken the Night's Whisper here. No! I like this. All right, let's make them choose. Let's make them choose between Swamp and Second, second Green. They're gonna do it to me, aren't they? They're gonna kill me in like two seconds. Oh, they took Domnation? That means they have a removal for. Took Domnation was free on dying creatures in play. Weird. Just... Yeah, if only game one was longer. I got shamed. I invoke this first, not the worst here, though. May shield red first. What's better if they have another Grist? Like this. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, and they get a. Play shield red first, and they don't have anything I lose. But if they like have another Grist, I just prop shield red, really? I was thinking invoke this first is better. Take six, go down to five. If they have another Grist, if I play shield, they go and another Grist, they go plus on Grist. Play a Grist, sag the token, attack me, and then I'm this super dead. Yeah, I need to invoke first. Kind of still lose to a lot here. I flooded a bit this game. You're almost all lands. I need a spell or else I die. Or maybe not. Just blood chief first, just triangle regret geist, and then and then upkeep blast zone. One, two, three, four, five. So if I yeah, that seems good. Upkeep or attack step? Probably upkeep, right? That's for chords. But they have one card. If I blast now, I go down to one. That's terrible. What? Take two? What are you talking about? Is there a point in doing it in their attack step? Waiting till their attack step? I don't think so. I mean, shield rate's not even that bad. I'm gonna lose two time, yeah, probably. Alright, no grist, please. I need a cling. No grist, no go for the throat. It doesn't look like they have go for the throat. And they didn't have Gris last turn. Need to dodge like a draw step or two. Attack? Attack seems good, right? Attack's bad against Endurance. Before they land, no, but I do play a lot. 
Yeah, it's kind of suspicious. They have two cards in hand. They didn't play a land. Oh yeah, attack dice to Bowmaster too. Oh, that would have been bad. I'm gonna die though. They're gonna draw something good, and I'm gonna lose. That do anything? Should I do it now? Adimez. Do I attack? Do I have to chump? I care about Peatland with shield right in play. All right, I guess no attacks. Can proliferate? They need creatures to proliferate. What? Proliferate what? What are you guys talking about? They're going to pay life and draw cards when they have shield right in play? Doesn't sound very viable. Probably the last match. Yep. Yeah, proliferate! Careful! Alright, now we should be good. I don't think they can win in 10 seconds, even if they draw go for the throat. I felt pretty lucky. All right, GG. It's not the absolute worst hand, honestly. I draw a swamp. Yeah, Alex. Yeah, I'll take a look. Why don't we put snow before I forget? I'm 30 seconds ahead on time. All right, I'd love to not see turn to Ren in six here. Obviously pretty happy he was a halfling. I'm gonna have the push for it. And the push is pretty good against him, kills a numbnaf. What's my play here? I don't need a halfling, they can just play a ring next turn. Each open sacrifices a non-token creature. Yeah. If they had Ren, they probably would have gone like Team Vince Ren, right? Terry. Terry's fine if they need it. Agreed. They might not have basic mountain, right? Bellbomb's nice against a Ren top deck. Bellbomb's nice against Ren plus fetch land. Well, I guess I'll let you have their latest list open here. No basic mountain. Where is the one ring? It's just missing a card, right? 28, 32, 36. Am I bland? 20, 28, 32, 36. Oh, they have Risen Reef instead. Oh, nice. I feel like that's good for me. So this gets them Island of Forest, proves them up red. Spellbomb better if they have Fetch plus Ren. Reverent, Revenant, Kyoku. Thanks for the, thanks for the raid. All right, I need to play faster though because this matchup's going to be long. I have Damnation in hand. I don't care about creatures as much right away. That's going to play the Spellbomb, I guess. Could be a mistake. Pink Jamas is nice. I got some good draws. Just on that, right? Or second tip. I don't know these cards really do anything. I wonder if they just scoop. Just have the one ring at 18. If they're ahead on time, why would they scoop? I mean, not everyone's dirty player like me in place for time. Lucy. Maybe Bowmaster first, because they have Teferi in hand that we know about.
How many veils should they have in their sideboards? Two veils, one Emrakul, three vetoes. Two veils, three vetoes, kind of. Maybe they know. Maybe they know I have like no win condition. That's why they're not screwed Pinder. Oh, well, he can only win those four shield reds, so. I really do wish I had like a couple hives, some maybe a planeswalker or two. I might struggle to kill people. Yeah, this is really bad, honestly. This is. Oh, man. Okay, fetch into Ren. Fetch into Ren's pretty obnoxious here. Deification. I don't know what that card does. Without it, you're just building your deck around that card, and if you don't draw that card, your deck's bad, and your deck's awkward and stuff. There's almost no way. I mean, the whole, like, win column is not going to be an issue in most matchup, but in this matchup, definitely be the case. All right, we know their hand is at least not a pitch solitude. We don't know. We know about a fury. Oh, well, they're playing something a little different than their last version. Alishnorn, Omnath, Locust of Creation. All right, it's nice that we got game one. Nothing's bad against them, though. Spell bomb's not great. Damnation, Leyline, Cling. All these cards are okay. I don't think so. They just played that call. So I don't think they're on Risen Reef. Also, have Bowmaster for Risen Reef. Black is a color that results from the absence or complete absorption of visible light. It is an achromatic color, without hue, like white and gray. It is often used symbolically to represent darkness. Black and white have often been used to describe opposites such as good and evil, the Dark Ages versus Age of Enlightenment, and Night versus Day. Since the Middle Ages, black has been the symbolic color of solemnity and authority. My thanks, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it, we appreciate the resub too. Necromantia, what do you name? It's like Omnath? Binding. I kind of want all my clings for the fetch lands and Ren. I think all the clings is good. Maybe I just don't do Thoughtseize. They're not, I don't think they're playing Ring. They might be. Could board out a land on the draw. Do I have no Azurus Control Modern? No, I don't play a Blue White in Modern. There are some lists out there though, but I don't think they're very good. Well, I don't think the archetype's very good. I'll do like one Thoughtseize. I'll try this. Maybe I need more discard spells to power through and actually win the game. But my plan is to just try and deny their Ren card advantage and just win was the one ring card advantage. If they really are on a version that doesn't have the one ring and just have a lot of removal because at the end of the day, they're just a creature deck. Like if I can always cling the fetch land they bring back was Ren and, and kill Ren right away. Not super easy for them to get ahead on cards. 
Oh, they're repping Vito. It's fine, I guess. I wonder what they called for. This Risen Reef, maybe? Halfling. Stuck on lands? Maybe they think I boarded out Fatal Push. Maybe they just want a cheap play because their hand is full of expensive cards anyways. <laughs> Don't they all start to field of random right away? They just take a non-step step and use blood sheets first here. So blood sheets are cost some five mana to kill a Teferi. I love better than Night's Whisper. I'm just worried about turn two Night's Whisper and not being able to cast it. I'm not gonna have double black on turn two consistently. Don't love the way this is going. Mm, they do have the one ring. Makes sense. We didn't see a resonary if we saw call. Push on the stack in case they get forced. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, I guess we lose this one. Most likely. I hold priority to deny life gain. Oh, yeah. I'm bad. Uh oh. On the deck, use Besiege the Mirror. Not, not the way it's currently built. Not just with Bowmaster. That's not enough. Why should I guess Blast Zone on? Probably like six, right? Too bad they're not playing that Risen Reef version. They almost definitely have Dobbins Vita, too. I'll say go one more time. That's kind of nice for me. Now I get to just uh, use an edict for now instead of my sweeper. Also much better if they actually did have Dolly's Veto. I mean, I'm still going to lose, but... Okay, I think I might just bring in all my discard spells on the play and the Necromancia too. Wow, I did not expect that. They might just not really care, honestly. I not really care about the ping I'm at, or maybe they just forgot. It's so weird that they didn't even have just like Ren Pink Bowmaster. Kind of wild. Whatever. They have eight cards in hand. Maybe if I draw one ring this turn, I have a shot. I could see that. They almost definitely have Veil in hand at this point. How do I play around Veil though? Tax their mana a tiny bit. It's Veil when I have uh the string play is at least something. <laughs> and I don't lose the two life. Sucker. Wait, did they play a one ring last turn? Why can't I target them? Oh, because of Veil, duh. I'm so dumb. Yeah. Troll. Oh my knee just trolling. Yeah, I should have been patient. One mana does matter.
I'll sandbag the nation one turn. So you can any more skills at all? The Slavich at Z. I'm doing game for lock on window. Well, we timed them out, and I was gonna win. I just had shield red, and they didn't have a removal for it. Basically, what happened? Not a bad matchup for this deck. Probably like every deck. Probably not very well built. Probably people playing fast is a bad matchup for me. It's appeared to only be able to win on time. Is this a con version? No, I didn't want to play the con version. Just. I don't know, just playing this deck felt sounded good to me today. It's like a deck I kind of liked before the new set and or before the PT, and I feel like for some reason people stop playing it and it's just a fun deck, cool deck. Still a version, yeah. Don't have good cards. Can't have real win conditions like Karn. I should have like more cards that do stuff though. The last on that, I don't have literally no idea. What's more of a problem that Ren or that Tomnaf? I mean, they have thousand percent have Veto in hand. I expect that card to resolve. Hey, Betrix. Sorry, I had to re reverse, yeah, <laughs> revert to playing on time. That was close. I guess I would have won that third game legitimately, but. In challenge, I put on my try hard dance in the challenge. Good luck in the rest. That was a really close match. I mean, they just didn't have Vito in hand, and I'm just wrong. In Vito, that damnation saved their own left, try and kill me. I'd just be playing like pretty conservatively. All right, shocker. The person was a uh, multiple one rings resolved, won the match, won the game. So I was expected. We saw Vito, we saw Vale. Fortunately, they do have the one ring. Did your team try any weird tech for the Omnaf deck? I don't think so. Oh, well, not super weird, but Spike had a build that he liked for a while that was four, land, four blue land cyclers, four force of negation. I don't think he had counterspell. I don't remember. I don't remember what else. Can I live one turn and kill that, kill endurance my two? They don't if they don't if they don't attack. Try to get an emblem. Whoops. Oh well, that was bad. Oh there. I was dead. Maybe push gotta go on the play. Spell bomb could be okay. Just more exiling of their lands, basically. Ghost Quarter could be good if I actually manage to uh, up Ren. Blazon probably better. I'm gonna go lighter on the removal spell. Like Thos and Monobletch? I mean, I have no black currents in this deck. I don't know. Doesn't seem that great. Uh, Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, Ghost. Ghost Quarter is only good in the long, long game, in the late, late game. Necro, Necro the Ring, almost definitely, which makes my Damnations better. I don't like Nectars as a playable modern card and stuff. Too many cheap removals and stuff. Too complicated. Like this, maybe? Could just not have Damnation in my deck. They're not committing a ton of creatures to the board at a time. I think Couple seems kind of nice, though. Halfling, halfling, 
Omnath one ring. You just gotta take one ring, right? I'm gonna try and slow them down. It makes my Bowmaster line up with their potential turn free Omnath. Could be good. All right, I have two unknown cards. Black mana, get rid of one ring. Sucks. Hope you're having a good day. Do I target Halfling? Hey, Velman, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for the resub. Wait for it. They're not going to tap it on their turn, obviously. Are you Are you guys all for real? They're just going to main face tap? Okay. Why would they ever do that? I ping Halfling. They can't draw on their turn. If they draw on my turn, I mean, I guess I should just... Let's do it now. Kind of sucks they just drew like they just outdrew me one rings like 22 22 one or something yep chef taken binding wish wish had the gift of uh wish had to give up foresight just ping them i guess I guess. Could have endurance. Or they could just be super screwed. I mean, how many endurance do you even bring in in that kind of matchup? Yeah, I don't know why they didn't draw last turn. I guess they were trying to preserve their lift. It all seems kind of conservative, but. um, Yeah, I'm not sure playing instant around endurance like super reasonable. Two damage, pretty huge. On the other hand, I mean, that arc token's a problem for them. I guess I'm going to get another one. Won't be as big, but kind of a big deal that my token's just a 4 4. They didn't play a halfling, they didn't play a wren, they didn't play anything. Would you even have endurance against me in the first place? All right, nice. They, I mean, I guess they don't have land, so they need to have something, but... All right, do I care about the two life? Probably not. Order target a land if they have to play a Ren, get back a land. Because if they play a Ren, they're going to kill Bowmaster. <clears throat> yeah, I should have just played my Kling. Also, less chance not they could just have Endurance targeting them. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. They drew like second rain after I thought he's one. They drew like second ley line. My draw's pretty solid to be fair. Just probably a bad matchup. Alright, I need to draw a removal spell. I hope I don't draw stupid damnation. Rip. Sucks. Oh well. What can you do? Here, my legendary token. Man. Too many lands. I boarded one out. I think 25 is fine. But yeah, I might be too many. Play Melting Toe. You know they're not even flooded, right? Because they played that land over actually any other land, so they probably have spells in hand. Oh, I don't have, I forgot about Castle Lock Twain. I built that deck at like the last second. Attack was Orc, not it's terrible. Bring my own map for Orc. Yeah, I'd rather save it. Maybe it was fine, actually. Very thoughts he's now. Not attack was a token. I don't know, they might have another Omnath in hand. 
I don't know, man. I'm just chat's like too much right now. Just too many people spamming everything that goes through their through their little heads. But I agree. I maybe should have done that earlier. But I don't know. I should have at least done it last turn once I drew the thoughtsies. Yeah, of course you have Veil. Why wouldn't you? I've done a last turn. I'm just playing bad. I mean, yeah, I don't know why I didn't just play Thoughtseize attack or even attack the Dread turn the, the turn I drew Bowmaster. I, was, I don't know what I was waiting for. Like losing my token was not great, but it was bad play. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, why didn't I just kill him now? Dude, I don't know. I'm just. Got flustered this game. I'll just close the chat. Like too many people spewing random lines, and then at some point I just stop listening because it feels like people are just saying the first thing that goes through their heads. And I can't trust anything they say. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt. And to an extent, the air is soft. I don't know, I'm just like frustrated that they drew like 17 to 1 ring to my zero. These games. Not too bad. I started playing slow too because maybe win this game actually. Actually, no, they're just like 20 million life. This is too much. Someone telling me to concede in that spot. I can't. Sub or not sub. Call because call actually just gets them a fury or something and kills me. I need to draw shield red. Unfortunate. No fury. I don't know what, why they're not just attacking here.
farmed for max content. Easy. I felt a little bad timing out bits earlier, but I feel like definitely vindicated right now. The genius of Gabriel Massif. Hmm. Sam's pretty good against creativity, I guess. Pretty bad against Merktide. I'm just gonna keep. Is it snap? Uh, yeah, that's a risk, obviously. I have a few outs. Take a look at the list. This match shouldn't take forever, especially since I'm going to lose this game fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you saw Waffle's list. Pretty similar. Looks fine. Are you playing Breeding Pool just for... I don't think that Splash is worth it, but I could be wrong. I think you're going to lose more games to the damage from your lands than what you gain from the green. Plus, you're going to have a bunch of awkward spots where you just don't have a green source or... Not sure I would do that if I were you. I think an edict draw was kind of nice. Uh... Pierce Snare. Force, Counterspell. I guess I should play Bowmaster. Bowmaster in his upkeep. That's, that's, that lets him like hard cast subtlety. I guess it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty bad. Counterspell. So now I can do that now. There's enough thingy for Unholy Heat yet. He also didn't use Spell Pierce earlier in the game when he could have over Counter Spell. So One Ring's pretty tempting. Maybe he was sandbagging the One Ring? Use Counter Spell over the One Ring? That seems unlikely. I just drew it of iteration. That probably loses me the game though. One mana spell here obviously would be good for me. You might also just be out of counters. You do true counters, one one pierce. It's like half half his counter spells for the one ring. Not having game free versus Omnath. Someone told me I was I should just scoop because I was too behind on time and losing, so you know, decided to time them out and also time out my opponents. One right here plays better with my damnation. Those bolts. Obviously, I don't have the last bolt yet. I have protection. I can draw now. Two or three doesn't make a difference, right? Don't target me. Cling would be nice. Yes, we're pretty good too. Kind of sad I would have just won if I played Shield Red that one turn I played the first one ring. I haven't cast a single on Holy Heat. If I wait, <coughs> it's still the redraw cling. Please wait in their upkeep, right? I'm gonna do it. Or I could wait, go down to one, and go up to three, right? And build back that way. 
and they're taking damage, which can matter. How are they repping? I mean, I'm gonna cast Bowmaster anyways, but. Bolt. I mean, I have to block, I guess. Blah. Yeah, I don't know. How does the math even work here? I mean, I don't just dead to a bolt. I go to six, I go to three, upkeep, I draw. Yeah, I guess not. Already bolting. Me? Targeting Bob the dog. Okay. How would you attack if we're going to do that? Okay, I win? They said lol. Went on to one. I go up to seven. Down to four. Yeah, I probably win. Yellow what? Two potatoes were walking home from the farmer's market when one of them got ran over. The other shouted, oh, puree, puree. They said, I hope you're on streaming, JD. <laughs> I said, not only me and 900 of my closest friends. It's a French pun. Puree is mashed potato. JD, thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. Um... Sideboard, so they get cast into the fire. Maybe subtlety, maybe Jace. Street race in the sideboard. What's the street race technology? What the hell? Is that like anti living ends? No. Street race. Is that for like the matchups where removal is bad? You just cut your removal and make your deck like faster? All the like linear combo decks and stuff? Damn. Who came up with that? Sounds kind of sick. Sounds right up my alley. It's like the kind of thing I would like to do. Yeah, your French fun game is better than mine. I had both when you played Shield Red, but I just F6 or something. Okay, what's bad against them? So I haven't boarded a single card in. I think I'm gonna bring in Leyline. Uh, I mean, Shield Red is the problem. Or maybe I just bring in some Thoughtseize. Yeah, deck's perfect. Oh yeah, perfect. As-tu vu le vert vert allant vers le vert en vert vert? Yeah, that one's funny, but it's that one's easy to say. There's some that are like all tougher to articulate when you say them fast. We ended up beating four color. We timed them out. I think this is like obviously a pretty, pretty solid hand here. Part of what you're hoping for, plus some Night's Whisper. I'm playing. I should have boarded out of land. I was doing it last round. I forgot this round though. Let's see. Alright, what should I go after? I guess artifact. Look, he mulliganed a bunch. Looks like he mulliganed once, maybe. More Edix is kind of nice. Mm. I guess I should thought these now because I have the one ring in hand and I have a couple fours and no fifth land. Looks like our latest version had three basic elements. Some versions have been playing only two. That's scary. If they start drawing too many iterations and I don't draw my Knight's Whisper, am I lose? I'm playing. I need to just use my cards. Get back on cards with Kling, make them have it. All that good stuff. Repping the spell tiers. The bottom two. You could just not have it. Not getting my one ring is not getting much better. I do get to dash Ragavan. I'll just use my mana efficiently. Also win the game if they don't have it somehow. I like my, you know, 5% chance there of winning the game on the spot. Nice Whisper, Max Punish. Oh my god. Yawn. 
Hopefully he has Counterspell and he's scared of the One Ring. Worst case scenario is just be scared. There's no way you pass up Knights with Spirit Air. He's going to cast it 100%. This hand would have to be so good for him not to cast Knights with Spirit Air. Or clearly he thinks it's close. Well, that was freaking game losing right there. That was unreal. One hit. I mean, I could have not played the One Ring and nothing of that ever happens, but that was kind of BS. So unlucky. Whoa. Kind of have to. I need the card for Kling. It's my fifth card, but I think he has one land left. Maybe he's playing the two land version like people have been doing. Oh. That was one of the reasons I was like thinking about playing this deck is I saw these lists go down go down a bit on the go down to two lands. Seems like kind of a big deal. He might counter that. He knows I don't have fatal push. Could have just used Blast Zone, honestly. I should have, I think, actually. Yeah, I messed up. I'm playing this game poorly. It's usually not worth it, but in this case, I think it was. At least the treasure's not as big of a deal now. How many spell pierce has he played? One? Questionable. Maybe I could just wait. I don't know why I felt like I had to do it now. Classic Ragavan winning him the game against a four push, four bowmaster deck. Card. The freaking card. Wow, caught a break. Peace. Oops, all counters. Good draw. Really good draw. Turns up on Holy Heat. Yeah, I'm not that surprised, honestly. I think I'm just going to play Shield Dreads. Is almost too good to be true. I'm gonna steal it or something. Okay. Like that. It's really hard to flood with Smirk type too. Oh, you drew the subtlety now? Right on time. Classic subtleties. Okay, he clearly has bolt in hand. Last card's not a not a counter spell. I don't even have stop in my deck, right? To draw. So waiting's kind of bad. All right, I guess we win. Nice. Despite the Ragavan's best efforts, stealing my Knight's Whisper. Morning, Claudio. Yeah, that game was... Weird, it didn't feel great for a long time. <laughs> I'll keep any land. Any land in my first two draw steps. I don't know, gamblish keep. Probably bad keep, actually. Well, too late now. All right, they're going to play Urborg for me. Genius, since they're playing Coffer. My hand's not even good, though. The genius of Gabriel Massif. My hand's still bad. I'll lose to the One Ring. Dev Bowie. And that was the longest tank ever. Yeah, I know, it's muted. Well, looks like Mono Black is the best deck in the format. 3-0 bracket. Mirror match. Mirror H match. Oh, I talked, I talked, I forgot to load Blast Zone. Maybe I should focus a bit. And then there, Urborg, you think so? Seems bad, they could have another one. I'm not gonna play Shield Red. They get a Swamp, a Shield Red, they can like... Demolition Field plus Bush. I'm not drawing Bowmaster. Looks like they might have Bowmaster in hand. They've been tanking a lot. 
Playing Bowmaster is pretty bad against Bowmaster. I'll let them have it. Can do. I'm really bad at drawing the one ring, I guess. What did they use to kill it? Suspended tutor used a fatal push. Not much I can do. Oh, that just happened. Big fail. No, I think it's not gonna matter. I think they have another one. Like one of the worst games ever. Just so uninteresting. Actually, Gab, it's not a mirror. Still allowed to draw one ring, even if it's up for them, right? No, not allowed. All right, just going for the merchants, I guess. Please make sure that they do have Karn in their deck. And it's hard for them to win the game if somehow they don't have Karn in their list. I like Sundering Titan is amazing. It's not like Leveler is... I think Leveler is probably good enough, but what do you even get there if you're down? Locking Ballista, okay. I mean, if that's the best you can get. To be fair, there's one card in my hand they don't know. Did you know about the first? Oh. I'm not impressed. Let's put this. Don't work on much better. Maybe they don't have one coil. Loading. I don't know. They know about the blood juice first, but yeah. I agree. Walking ballista seemed not great. Um, which one should I use? Edix instant speed. I don't know if it makes that big of a difference. Edicts they also don't know about. Yeah, I'll just charge and use Blood Chiefs first. Hopefully that's not a mistake. If I draw the one ring, I can still Edict. I still have the mana. I could just use my Blast Zone. If I draw land, they tap both their field of runes for some reason. If you had mana up, they couldn't field. Actually drew the one ring. Okay. I should eat it first. Each opponent sacrifices a planeswalker. I don't want to lose my one ring to discard spell. They trail him. Are they getting tutor this turn? I don't think so. Turn again. No. Thing actually relevant this time, or <laughs> they're like, oh, the card I should have gotten the first time around. Alright, my deck's loaded with removal spells. An edict would be pretty good here. Would save me a hit. I could just draw blast zone. Or I could just draw what did I say blast zone? Not a one ring. A good thing they didn't play that the first time around. Would have been rough for me. I 
it's actually have to play the one ring right. Oh, I'm ahead by three minutes. Nice. Oh, they get a tutor again. They get a tutor for Karn. The Red Lancer. Man, you missed an epic. Uh, you missed an epic round of Geo Guesser. Germany next seems better for the mayor. They have Karn and more discard spells in the main. So the daily got, yeah, we got over under was 22.5 and we got 22,000 because I messed up the last round. How did you guess northwest of Mexico for the last one? Just the landscape? I didn't go northwest enough. Kang literally told me northwest and I went kind of like too close to the middle. Removal for Karn, obviously. You have a shot. It's not removal for Karn. Found signs for Kabork. Oh, wow. I guess I went in the wrong direction for too long. I was hoping they would just draw. We are winning a time race. I do need to win at least one game for the time race to matter. Game less. Why didn't I play ring? Because I was trying to win the game and not just survive. It's bad in this matchup. Nation's pretty bad. And trim a couple push. Bowmaster. No, Bowmaster is really good. Go on all four clings. Let's try to draw my good cards. Plague Engineer for Bowmaster. Yeah, actually, that's good. Why not? Urborg over Swamp. I think Urborg's just going to end up helping my opponent more than it's going to help me. They're going to be able to tap mana for their fetch lands, just get colored mana against Yawgmoth. Just don't need it. I don't even have a double black spell on turn two. Why do I need Urborg? The only scenario where Urborg would be good is if I have like Shield Red with free card less lands or something. I should have played Hive though. I wanted it. I didn't have them, and I I was so. I want to play like one or two Hive of the mine. Like I could have a, a, a lot of the Hives would be good. Fatal push pretty good because killing Shieldra is so important. Killing Bowmaster is kind of okay too. You have one too many lands too. Maybe Blast Zone is slow in this matchup, and they have Field of Rune, but they have Urborg. Yeah, I can definitely board out a Swamp. First quarter, gives them a swamp. Doesn't seem worth it. I'll do another push. They'll let them play first. I don't hate it. We have discard spells. They get to one ring first, but that really matter. Uh, also playing Bowmaster first is bad. She's doing instead of swamp. Uh, maybe she does is strictly worse. Second main, second main gamer. I did tap that shit during game one. Battle of the Triards. Any second main gamers in chat? I don't know why I played that Demolition Shield. That was terrible. So actually, they just play a Karn, and I don't play Plague Engineer right away. I lose. Uh, what a. What a stupid mistake. I guess it's actually it's not that bad to play Demolition Field because if they use Field, I get to cling. But yeah, it was a mistake. They won the first game. They're probably going to win the second game. Thanks for the quality content. Always a pleasure watching you play. Appreciate the resub, Alec. Thanks for the kind words. All right, the March. 
March into Karn, GG. No Karn. Wrong card. Yeah, it's Demi. Obviously. Obviously, the mirror is the only bad matchup. I guess do it now before they draw a second Bowmaster. Kind of sucks you have to do that. Elgrin's probably dying. My Knight Whisper, I might discard to hand sides though. Just play a shield right and make them have it. I shouldn't try to min max on cards, right? No. That's probably Knight Whisper. What's the play here? Why do I discard? A cling? I could just cast cling to gain life. Kind of loose, so I'll play Bowmaster though. I'll play Bowmaster, and next turn I'm gonna have six mana. I think it's just discard cling to hand size, I guess. Maybe discard a one ring. Just discard a cling. Surprised they don't use demolition field in that spot. I don't know what they're waiting for. Alright, I think this is a fine trade to play it now. Try and trade at least. I want some no, but the, the damage might matter if they kill my shield red. We need another whisper with three rings. Yeah, maybe not. Seems good next turn. I can go shield red knight's whisper on my turn. And then even ring in response. Leveler. I'm not playing aggressively enough on these Urborgs. I just let them have that big turn for no reason. Well, for some reason, but. All right, a shield red draw and hope to hit uh Hope to hit a Nedict. Uh, these these power of stone token or whatever they're called are not the worst. Ooh, that's a good draw. Wait, no, wait, no, oh yeah, that's a good draw. Six seven. Can I tap? I can tap this to cast frame, right? Or like draw? Oh no, they drew Bowmaster. It's better to know it now if they drew Bowmaster. Play my Invoke Despair and just lose. Bowmaster is not the end of the world. Does that to my issues? I mean, I guess if that Bowmaster, they would play it now. Most likely. Hey, Dr. Muggy, yeah. I can Numa when I have Cling to Dust. Interesting. I mean, I kind of have to, right? Any cards is it? Three cards? Either way, I can self cast the one ring and live. Oh, I have a cling in my hands. I'm so stupid. I might end up losing because, uh. Alright, no whammies. No cards returned. Nice. But that's the one man I'm missing now, though. The one man missing to go invoke plus one ring. I guess I can just cast the one ring. I can invoke cling. Ah, oh, you're a powerful wizard if you can do that. Oh, we drew another cling. You're a powerful wizard. I didn't even see I drew another cling. Well, cling MVP. The genius. Of yeah. The Seriously. I mean, sorry. How, how am I supposed to expect to be this lucky? Actually, I should just discard all the nice whisper. Yeah, you have you have this the special skill of sight, using your eyes. Okay. All right. How do I um? Why do I Necromancia here? 
Karn? Doesn't seem like it would ever do much. One ring? Like Karn or the one ring? This was Karn that can get their one ring. Alright, I'm just gonna use Karn the Great Creator. Karn the Great Creator. Alright, what does their deck look like? Voidwalker, Brutality. Oh, they have three Voidwalker. Only have two Shield Reds, four One Wing, four Karn. They actually, board out. In no, they have three Inquisition, three. Sh Anything like specially scary? Not really, right? No sideboard ring. I had a one leveler, correct? It didn't actually draw. I mean, there's nothing I can even draw. I have more bowmasters. I play my land first like a dummy. We didn't see Domination, right? Not that it matters. Behind on time. Two Shield Red, Void Walker. Right one on my Fatal Push. They make me play first this time. I don't know. They should. They, they think uh, I have a half a brain, but a trim a cling. I need just two clings. Why do we need to exile that leveler sometimes? And that's about it. Pretty anti-climatic matchup. I'll keep. They went first. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Excellent keep. I mean, we know what we're up against. I don't even need to play my spell and my thoughts. He's on tilt turn three, really. But like, all that matters is the ring and Karn. So that means they have Karn in hand. They brought in one stone brain and drew it. Pretty solid. Must be nice. Well, I guess I'll lose. I got shield red. I probably win. I maybe play some cards in my sideboard. They're stuck on lands, or they could be sandbagging a coffers. But I need to like pressure them. I need mana for my bowmaster. For that. All right. Settle in my chances. Choosing to be on the play looks like it might be hurting them a bit. Active brutality. I mean, I have all land left in my deck, minus for one ring. Not really, though. Yeah. Mm. I guess I should just cling. Let's see if I can hit a Bowmaster or Night Whisper. Their point playing it now. All right, no removal spell, please. Pretty please. <clears throat> and push bowmaster, laying or draw another bowmaster. Can invoke now. I don't think invoke's getting. Oh no, yeah, right. Invoke's kind of bad. Push bowmaster. 
How many Thoughtseize have they played? One Brutality, two Thoughtseize, so they have one Thoughtseize left. I have Shield Red, so my Invoke's like... I could attack first, I guess, right? Probably gonna block. Oh, I can't... Oh, yeah, I can... I'll attack first. Might as well play it now, right? I guess it's not the worst. I do have Edict in hand. We're down to four. They do have Tutor coming up next turn. I need that Edict for Shield Red. Bring a push would be nice. Like any removal, really. I don't know. That was big for them. Doesn't seem like these brutalities should be very good in the matchup. Flesh eating them. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Of the blast down to four. I think I need to just hope I draw removal spell now. I mean, they literally have demolition. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, they're gonna gain too much, right? They're gonna go to three. They're gonna get shield red. Draw four. Go up to eleven. They only have two shield reds. Maybe. Yeah, clinging for a card. But if I cling and I break, the blast zone plan is too slow. And I can only cling once. Alright, I'm down with the blast zone plan, I guess. Do I just... Do I just field over in Yogg? Uh, Urborg? I feel over... Do we know they have another Urborg in hand? I feel I've ruined that. I still have... No, I don't have enough mana to charge the blast zone. They gain a bunch, but... I mean, I guess they're just going to play another ring. What if my top card was a Fatal Push? Shield Red. Let's play it now. Is it getting better? I don't know. Maybe this is bad. I'm running low on time, though. Okay, they're taking the two from Shield Red. It's kind of nice. Probably is there and have a massive turn here. Seven cards in hand. They could go like Coffer, Karn. Did I not play a land last turn? I played a land. Under a wave, there was a spot where I could have got. Oh, actually, getting rid of the Urbor would have been. Wait, what? Okay. I guess we win? Question mark? Or is there something they can have? Oh, March. They drew March. Nice. That's pretty sick, actually. But don't they lose to their next upkeep either way? I guess they, they could have pitched a bunch of black cards, right? Or did they pitch all the black cards they uh, don't play a creature? Oh yeah, good call. I guess I don't have to do anything for now. Just to go and see what happens. I wonder if they exiled all the black cards. Wow. Oh, the last match too? Dude, this 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 challenge has just been highway robbery. Every round, every round is something like so weird for me to win. I got them all lined up, all the paid actors. Might as well, right? All in one tournament, so you actually do well in the tournaments. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, what do you think, Chad? Are we up against Erborg again? <laughs> Should I keep? After a combo. One island, two planes. Get them all again. I don't even have the one ring in my opening hand. Like, why? Why bother? Cling, maybe get rid of Cling. They don't play fetch lands. 
Push pretty solid in the matchup. An exile sword. I don't even know if they play Thopter Sword. It's called Thopter Sword, but I do. Yeah. It's hard to get the sword with Clang. The only way you get it is if they have um no other artifacts and no tap mana. Because every artifact they sag they can trigger the sword in response to your clang. So it's usually not very effective to try and fight them that way. Bolt, why, why do you think I don't play Urborg in this deck? I'm sure you can figure it out. But I forgot. Mm. Elf, this is a huge problem. I do have Blast Zone, but still. Might have been a mistake. Maybe I should have done that in their upkeep. Get thingy for Urza. Get Revolt for Urza. They could have rebuke, but oh well, I don't have to. All right, that's nice. Very little bit helps. As for Sentinel, right on time. This would have been dead earlier against my Bowmaster, anyways. Ooh, right, I have that card in my deck. Pretty good card. Has anyone ever seen Shadow Spear to kill the One Ring come up? Sacrifice a non-token artifact. Yeah, as percent I'll just dice us, uh, not paying the tax. It came up in the No Boundless Modern event I play. What was the what was the spell that destroyed? Um, do I push in response? Is it fancy? Is it too fancy to let them draw an extra card when they have stopped her out just to kill an Esper for free? Sounds kind of fancy to me. But if I push the token, then you just equip the Sentinel. Hmm. Shadow Spear plus Baseju, yeah. Yeah, the reason I don't play Urborx is, is I feel like a lot of time that, that card helps uh, my opponent more than it helps me in a deck like that, because there's no double black on two. There's no like, there's like that one invoke despair. Bit of a scary spot. I don't know if loading up Blast Zone is a reasonable play, though. Carnival Hall. Not very good against Blast Zone. I Edict now, they can sack an artifact. They can like sag their Shadow Spear. And get another token. Like my Blast Zone's gonna get the Shadow Spear anyways. Maybe I wait? I think I maybe wait. Take the hit. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do is that cling to dust. Maybe save it. Is this a hard match? I have no idea. Do we take eight for funsies? Do you watch the stream muted for funsies? I love it when you go for your lines of thoughts, only for someone to ask you why you did something after Literally just explaining why you did it. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling is salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. 
Does this do anything? I have my Bowmaster back. I ping. I amass. I edict. Sacrifice as a token creature. Time to close chats. I don't feel overwhelmed right now. I feel like I'm still playing okay. Were you here earlier, Nadi? I was like just messing up against Somnath. Uh, I can draw a card, but that doesn't do anything. Is this like better setup than Model Black Coffer? I just felt like playing this and not Model Black Coffers. Just not have the awkwardness, I guess, but I'm not sure what's better. Just sounded good to me. Every time I have fair openers, I've lost track. I've lost track of how I've actually won matches today. No one really knows. Oh, the cling. Okay, I guess that's a way to countering swords, stop their foundry. Just draw more clings than they have. Uh, than they have mana and artifacts. Doctor Sword of the Meek. It's been somewhat popular recently. I've already that player just plays it all the time anyways, but so, someone someone played there was like two players who played at a PT, someone did okay. The deck's basically good if in matchups where Portable Hole is good and Urza Saga is good. If these two cards are like good, then your deck's usually pretty good. Uh should I ping a mass now? I'm not sure how valuable Bill Master is against their deck. They don't really draw cards. Alright. I'm not even sure top deck sword saves them here. Well that's definitely not enough. I will say sign in blood here with uh KD8 things. Let's see. Let's see if they scoop in response to the to the field of rune. Win condition. Does open and one to give me the info. I will I will get my win condition. My feel of rain wind condition. I think they only have three basics. Well, I guess they could be tricking me, but I think they only have three basics. Yeah, uh, seems unlucky they're bluffing. Their latest blitz says three basics, and all right, Dad. Did I know about that? They're tapped out now. Though. Oh, minus one damage. Oh, that was stupid. An edict. Could maybe still lose. Foundry? Urza? Why are there so many ads on Twitch now? Because they're trying to make money. And they're trying to have their the people streaming make more money as well. They were trying, they tried for a while to be like, you know, figure out a way to. To survive without it all adds revenue, but I guess it's. just not easy to. Uh, find a model that works. Can be turbo more expensive, yeah. That might be because um they uh they pay us. Like people who have turbo, it counts as if you were watching ads. Even if RC you don't get the ads with turbo, so we still get paid, which is obviously nice for us. So they're gonna bring in maybe path. Maybe a relic. I don't have much, but their main deck is like decent against me. 
Like, that's from the draw's good. Smith's is good. All their creatures are good against me. Their combo is pretty scary. This game went well, but... Ooh, Plague Engineer. Whoever suggested Plague Engineer? MVP. Leyline? Just for the combo? Not the fairy. They don't have an obvious way to get rid of Leyline. Oh, they have the one ring in their deck, too. I think it's really bad against them. It was good for me this game, but I mean, it's pretty bad against us for Sentinel. Do Necromantia. Is Edict bad against them? Edict's pretty bad, right? No Planeswalker. Sucks against their tokens. They have like Sentinel and Stoneforge to protect their actual like good creatures. Damnation could be okay. Ghost Quarter could be okay. Evoke seems bad. I'll do I'll do the ley line. Answer to Caldra was Edict. Oh yeah, just lose to Caldra was that Edict. Good call. Having Stoneforge is pretty good against Edict too. Not having Karn in this matchup is rough. I'm gonna board out a land like I've been doing every round. Maybe I have like too too many lands. Maybe I'll just keep Cling. And oh, I guess explosives might be good. I mean, it's not a black, yeah. More like highway robbery, but I'll take my luck when I get it. Super good hands. They have Sentinel, they have Bowmaster, if they don't have Thoughtsies. Need to make sure I don't play too slowly. I'll take it. Can't really blame them. I would keep that against a against a black deck, I think. Too good. <laughs> Tapped fountain? Hunt that fountain. Uh oh. What just happened? It's fair. Nothing to see here. Just foundering into a... That stops it, right? Just thinking if I was supposed to do Damnation first somehow. All right. You know their last two, card, two, last two cards in hand. Just don't, don't draw an Urza. Who the F is Dumb Toretto? Never heard that name before. Oh, uh, Fast and Furious, of course. Let's play the One Ring, right? Play the One Ring, try to profit. May I attack first? Is there a point for me not attacking? Now, as soon as you said it, it's like dumb, of course. I guess I, I, I'm dumb. I don't know, but I, 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 the last name I didn't really remember, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, Crash Go. <laughs> All right, they're down to no cards in hand. That's good for us, right? In the game of magic. Just first, that's Smith. I don't have shield right yet. Did bounce it. It's hard not to, though. I don't really have a great play here. Just say go for now. What's their plan? Just try and set up a turn where they can make a lot of tokens by bouncing my thingy, but then... Dude, come on, give me a break, really? Just... Just stop there into Sword, into Urza, into Smith, into... No, never mind. Damn. Okay, okay, it's fine. This is fine. It's not even that good against Bowmaster.
If I field over now, it just gives him an extra mana. You can't believe what fell. True. I had our dress strength find an Urza. Makes sense. Long shield reds. That's good. Probably. Oh yeah, ley line. Ley line's awful. Everyone knows it. Ley lines are atrocious. Would be cool if they drew some of their basics. Game could come down to like crazy weird, grindy spots. My one plague engineer, my one ley line, just like we drew it. Protocopter matchup. You're paying Jamas? Oh, Jose. I don't keep getting away with it. You haven't seen the games. If you had seen the games, you would even, you would, you would, you would like. Actually, so far, I have been able to keep getting away with it. Whoa, what's going on in chat here? GTFO getting a little, uh, a little too excited. <laughs> Are we talking about hockey players now? What did I miss? Would love a relevant card. No jokes. Do I have to damnation here because of the lifelink token? Do you have relic? That ley line, so these cards don't do much. I wrap my bowmasters away, then their one rings better. Those rings stop their damage. Oh yeah, ring buys a turn. I'm a super noob. Hall of Fame, by the way. Doesn't see the super obvious line. Do I keep my other ring? Seems a little greedy when they have spellbomb in play. And maybe draw right away. It's because I've got too many five heads flying through my head. I missed the obvious lines, obvious pleb lines. <laughs> Just play the ring, Gab. Why? Why, Gab? Why you just not play the ring? That's a pretty good hit. I guess as long as I have ley line, it's fine. It's not even that good. They might actually target their own token. Did not. No, we can probably damnation. I don't know. Not really. Does seem to find. Yes, this. Is this even good? Yeah, this just seems pretty good. Seems like a start at least. To go with it would be nice. Edict maybe. E on one forces a draw. Maybe I need to shield red ring, maybe force that spell bomb. Well, it's not really forcing it. I don't know. I need to not spend too much time because there might be a short game. I think this is a good play though. Looks good. E on one into Damnation. Oh wow, they just sagged the one ring. They're just going for it. Wait, why did they do that now? Why did they do that in response? I'm confused. Uh, also, Star doesn't draw them a card because I have the Leyline of the Void in play. So that's not, that's not a thing. Paying the cost of what? Laundry? Returning shield red. Okay. I have revolt now. With nine. What happens if I have damnation now? Pretty good, right? Do I lose to a counter spell if I have damnation? They counter. They make two more tokens. I can block, block, block. I take one, two, three. Oh, no, this thing is not getting bigger. That has no utility. Uh, 
Like, explosive that moved my own token and then their solitude is good. Okay, that was bad play. I don't know what I'm doing. Lock side to them. Yeah, I guess they would need to have the foresight to. Well, it's not really the foresight, it's on board. Oh, well, Fluster Storm. And I didn't cast Thoughtseize first. That sucks. That was, I mean, it was calculated, but I do have the One Ring and stuff in play. It is a little tricky. All right. Well, better than playing Damnation. But I've gone to seven. Actually kind of cool, they don't get the lifelink. Well, now I can Damnation into Shield. would be pretty good. I can make a bunch of 1-1s. One oh, Master. Just spin that Thoughtseize, maybe. And then Night Whisper. Yeah, why no sign in blood? Maybe I should play the splits. All right, they're at two and I have a shield red. Pissing needle. I have blood zone in my deck. I guess that's one reason not to. Uh, that is one reason not to get rid of Night Whisper. Just push that now, I guess. Why not? Hello. Hello, you butte. You have no cards in hand. I gain life, though. I do gain life, but... Still decent. Got to sack a lot of their boards. Could be, like, more than enough. Here, their artifacts. It's not like Intimidate. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures. The push means they have to sack a Talisman. I don't see more of it. How many basics have the Exile was? What's this phase? Zero. It's going to make my Blast Zone even better. As that was a reason to be able to push to. I'm gonna fin the deck for them, I guess. I already drew a basic. Yeah, maybe I should have sex on Field of Runes. All right, these Bowmasters are not very good, right? They don't really draw cards. Just send everyone. I actually want them to die. I have to do my in hands. Actively good for me if they die. Well ends on the draw step. Or get back master, I don't know. Alright, they're trying to keep a token so they can uh finally. What's the red triumph for? Explosives? Red mana? Alright. Wear tear. Oh my god, am I gonna lose because I waited the draw step? And they're gonna like wear tear my not like this. No. I'm crumbling. Oh my god. Dude, if I let them have red mana for their wear tear. 
The genius of Game Man Chief. Man, they're actually floating too. How many swamps have left? Oh, a million probably. Oh, the lay lines for the white. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it more, more dramatic. Yeah, I should have blown two lands up like last turn too when they already had a basic in line. I just to use their red mana we're in the clear. Yeah, please kill my stupid ring. Well, they should have one less mana. But who's counting? Like my mana stepping really weirdly here. We win? I don't know. Probably. Can't imagine ever losing this game. Not sure how how to come back. The ring, what about the ring? No life gain. What? What are we talking about? Oh, they can't life link next turn. I just play my one ring. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to. Of course. Should I thought seize them? Last time I didn't, they almost went really poorly. Yeah, stuff's going, stuff's doing, Modus feels like doing pretty weird stuff right now. Are we the last match? Damn it, tried. Ahead on clock, yeah. Winning on all metrics. Ring check. Moto check. All right, we got them. Damn, five and oh, nice. Five and oh, seven rounds. Looking good. Not the last match, sure, easy. Welcome back, everyone. Take two, unmuted. Firewall Canal, pretty great hand against Merc Died if it's Merc Died. Unbelievable. They always have it. So lucky. Their combo assembled. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Jose. Thanks, just too good. Well, what, what else would I do besides winning? Iteration? Jeez. Just have it all, shall you? See what I draw all lands? That might be because I'm playing too many lands. One drop. Easy. More lands. Oh, bubble was maybe loose. I was trying to go after the weird types, but probably kind of bad because of Merc Tides. See, see you, you, you jinxed it, Jose. You jinxed me. Yeah, Macy. I can do. Draw step, upkeep. Oh, I'd have Merc tied in hand. It's bad for me. Wow. Am I gonna lose because I targeted a bubble instead of an unholy heat? That would suck. And they kept on top. Yeah, maybe I should field. I'll field. Now? Why not in upkeep? No, what's the difference? Kind of want to edict now. Each open sacrifices a non token creature. <clears throat> they have spell pierce, it's fine. And they're going to play a massive Merc Tide. 
gonna suck, dude, because they're gonna be down to no lands, no nothing. But the Merc is gonna two shot me. I need to go to one ring. Nation of the top. I'm feeling it. Oh wow, that's huge. It buys me a bit of time at least. Hopefully they're on the two uh two verdict list. They topped one, so they drew something good already. That's got to be better than got to be better than drawing off cling, right? I have the free island list. Damn it, that's everyone's like I saw so many lists was just two islands recently. Imagine they got a basic mountain out of left rampingu, like the pengu, but for ramps. Please, this means that if they tap out for Merc Tide, I can still get lucky with Damnation or the One Ring. Yeah, I don't know what's what's the deal, honestly, with their pump fakes every two turns. I'm loving it, though. Oh, did I mess up not clinging in their upkeep? Oh, that was bad. Come on. They're paying Jamas. Could be worse. Probably lose now. <clears throat> Almost definitely have counter spell on the free basics. Well, they play like 18 lands or something. 17 or 18 lands, depends. Oh my god, I don't think I can win anymore. <laughs> let's go let's go Craig let's go not a merc let's roll and close one just flooded a bit in the mid game that had boarded just all the removal well, that was on the draw. On the play, Thoughtseize could be better. Can also just board out a land, have too many lands in this deck. Maybe Thoughtseize is good just because of the one, because the one ring's so good against them. It's time to SSSS. Say my username, KEKW. Also, good luck with the event. What do you mean? I said your name like a week ago, not even. Are you scamming Twitch? Captain America Swolbud. Thank you so much for the resub. Am I going to be playing at Worlds? Yeah, hopefully I'm qualified and I'm going. Can I call one more land? Or is that too greedy? 24? I want to hit 4 on 4. 25 is usually about right. Let's not be too greedy. Could, could see Thoughtseize over Bloodsheets first. Let's go Dash Ragavan's kind of a pain. Let's do that. Twitch scans twice in a row. Worlds is uh, paper, yeah. Back to paper. They had it on Arena during COVID. I guess they had it on Arena when they were trying to do the whole eSport thing too. My hand doesn't have an answer to Ragavan, but I have Cling for Fetch potentially. I have Knight's Whisper. Like taking a, a Ragavan hit's not always the end of the world. And just like last game, just lands. I mean, I did cut these blood sheets first and decided to have all my clings as a choice. I didn't want my draws to be too reactive and I think they'll fix standard before worlds. What's wrong with standard? Let's 
pretty sick draw. 75% shield red decks. I mean, it was 75% fable decks before, and standard was still fine. Which one should I remove? Does it matter? Instant, I guess. Land's kind of the tougher one to get back, but instant's better because of Merc Tide. Guess I'll do instant. Japing Jamas. I guess if they cast an instant, it means my Bowmaster is pinging while wow, they're all in. If they break here, they lose. I mean, they don't lose, lose, but they kind of lose. Oh no, I don't know how the cards work. Such a noob. Hall of Fame, by the way. To be fair, maybe I should have done land. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Kind of an interesting spot. I'm so flooded. Just use a blast zone. Fight against all their spell pierce. Ah, oh, they brought in Alpine Moon. Nice. I guess I'll just use blast zone. But I'm kind of a champ. Just no basics drawn, no basics mailed. I'm going to use it now. I don't think they're going to commit more to and not run coffers, no. I like my own my land step for mana. I don't live for the big plays, Lord Beerus. Good old basic swamp. I don't live for the pipe dream. Oh! They're down to eight. Yeah, finally one island. Okay. That, that, that Bowmaster was like a 17 for one. Why not all mismatch swamps? I thought you wanted people to fix standard, and now you just wanna you just wanna watch the world burn. Which one is it? You want things fixed or the left in rag? Yeah, it's probably still one of the best cards in their deck. But I mean, I agree, it's worse when they're on the draw, but still good. Still like two mana stone rain. See no more cards. Feeling pretty good here was all removal plus cling in the yard. Kind of exactly the spot where you're trying to get any win cons in the deck. Mm, meh. Not really. No jokes. Maybe I should board out some shield right on the draw. Definitely bringing back in these two blood chiefs first. Monkey says, "What's Nasif win? Nasif's win condition?" Maybe play against you, my friend. Okay. Must not know yellow hat very well. This is not a guy who brings win conditions. All right, let's start by clinging. Any cling enchantment. The genius of Gabriel Nasif. That's not a bad draw. Good to see if they're sandbagging. Uh, have you faced the mirror? I actually have. Although oh, we're playing Karn and Coffers. I won a pretty ridiculous match. A like game free day. Um, game free day got my my one rings. Was they brought in the brainstone and got me. And I just beat them down and they died to their own ring. Loving the read you backseat commentary. <laughs> yeah. Should I go full greed and wait a bit on the field of runes? Oh. No, no finds. Clearly they have Isla in hand. Dang it. Wow, well, no floating. Finally. Finally someone who respects themselves. Ooh, nice, Christoph. Are you guaranteed money? Are you guaranteed a little something something? Hopefully? 
Isn't Foro like the first draft on day two money? Or does it depend? Like, do they have Fluster Storm plus Spell Pierce? No. Not a bad draw either. I don't know why I played my land first. Apparently, I'm going to get punished by instantly drawing a. Okay, they countered it. I was going to say, going to get punished by drawing a, a Field of Ruin. If you don't flip the mana, how will you open a know your real serious play? Yep. Murky. Murky marks. Let's use Edict. They're probably going to counter because they're getting desperate. Of the Kling. The slow death of the Kling looming. If they counter, I Kling. If they don't counter, I'll just untap. Not gem my Kling into Spell Pierce. My plan was to untap and then use Damnation and save my instant speed removal spell for, for Ragavan Dashed. When Con secured, Cling. Every flashback Cling. Every escape Cling. Gets me a little closer to the win. I should target Bubble just in case they have Snapcaster in their deck somehow. Snapcaster would actually be insane here, but it forced it. <laughs> Got him. I guess it's not bad. At least I can't like. Demolish and feel their faith anymore. Look at me making fun of them. I just say go here. How many ragamans do they have left? To be fair, they did get to cycle of flooded strand. That blood wind's actually good for them. I'm making fun of them, but do one ragavan left. Each opponent sacrifices them. I guess I'll kill them. I'll play my field of ruin. Blood Moon could mana screw me in a weird world, but fine, it's fine. Yeah, rip Shizo. I could still lose. How many iterations gone? One, two, only two iterations? They still have a bit of card advantage, and I am flooding like a champ. Probably board out a land on the draw another land. I'm not even sure I'm a favorite anymore. I went from like feeling massively ahead to just I did draw like what four lands in a row or something. That'll do it. Yeah, I only have to defeat like a few more of their card. I literally haven't drawn a ring either. Half my deck, not a ring, not a shield red. Not that shield red's very good. They probably have unholy heat in hand, but uh, speaking of. What should I do about that shield red? Luster Storm? Luster Storm. Oh, they brought in Magus too. Damn, they were serious. At least we know they're not sniping. Congrats, opponent. You passed the sniping test. How many thoughts do I have in my deck? Just the one that I already drew, right? And I have three thoughts actually. So maybe I should hold field reds. The downside is maybe they boarded out on Holy Heat. One gone. Must have got something. Yeah, I haven't given them a target. I did discard that Magus though. Oh no, it was Surveil. What did they discard to do? One free. I think they discarded a land. Oh, let's say go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have three Thoughtseize right now in my deck, I think. And now I, get, now I give them Surveil. I'm gonna lose. 
I mean, I do have four rings left in my deck. Surely I can draw one. Cling would be amazing too. Well, happens. Did I mean swamp? I do like no ring, one night's whisper. Our opponent just admitted to uh, sniping. They said switching off stream three seconds. They're like just just three seconds while I take a quick peek at your lands, your hand, and then I'll switch off the stream. I'm joking, obviously. Thank you, Sandpop. Would I recommend this deck? Mm, not right now. I'd have to play a few more matches with it. Is it on that? Creativity? Maybe creativity if they got Catcher Trium. I'm not asking what they play. No, I don't I don't ask that. I mean if they wanna volunteer. That's obviously nice of them, but a lot of blind to ask. I mean I'm sure they're aware that, you know, they have that advantage, but it's fine. I'd look them up though. Crashing footfalls. Oh it's rhinos. Duh. See, there we go. Teamer Rhinos. I love it. One Flame, one Dismember, one Merc, one Fury, one Brazen. Perfect list. One Mutavolt, two Mutavolts? The list really is perfect. Wow. I almost felt I lose. I need basics. I need basics. I almost hope I lose. Indecision or perfect deck building. And the meme of like the handshake. She is not happy. He yelling at her kid? He yelling at her two year old? Very cool. Also, does give them an extra mana for their outburst? I don't think so. I thought about it. I think it's worse. Is that how it's going to be? I'm just going to get wrecked by Mutable plus Flame of Inner, killing my Shield Red. Brutal. And now her kid is crying. Good job. GG well played. Kind of have to play. It's a bit dispute. It's fine. It buys me a bit of time. Please gap stop. What did I stop? What did I do? She just heard the, the mom yell and now her kid's crying. Talking about the neighbor? Oh, like the dad? Makes you feel bad? Should I not be doing that? Should I not be talking about it? Man, I wish I hadn't looked at their list and see the one flame. I don't know if I'll ever recover if I get flamed here. I could double field of rune and kind of screw them. They go outburst. Only get one land. But I might just get out tempoed. What did he kill? A shield red. One dismember. Two disputes. Bounce it. Subtlety. Hard cast subtlety. Just say go. I know go is bad. But giving them extra mana is bad as well. Giving them two extra mana. What the fuck is that guy? Yeah, All right, I'll allow the floating in this in this scenario. Not to, not to speak. If I speak, I am in in big trouble. In big trouble, and I don't want to be in big trouble. I, think I should feel the burn again, and just sack mutable to edict. Oh, it's token, they can't, yeah. My line's still good, still fairly efficient. Yeah, 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 I'm dumb. Obviously, I know that I'm just tired, I guess. Wow, another mutavolt. GG. At least we know they probably don't have subtlety. 
kind of want to try to sandbag one turn now. Each opponent sacrifices each one sacrifices a creature token. Let's see if we can beta force of negation. No force. That's cling in the yard too. I actually had dispute that plays by me. I really give myself credit when I make some good plays. Not only uh, beat myself up for the bad plays, I play it's enough. Maybe, maybe I do have subtlety. And they figured they had dispute too, so they're gonna tap out. I guess we're about to find out real quick if the attack was mutavolt. Okay, they don't have subtlety, that's nice. Here is a saga hex parasite remove counter from blast zone. But then I wouldn't have mana to activate my blast zone. Alright, got a prage, no dead gone. You okay? Should I play around dead gone? They have dead gone, I go down to two. Kind of dead. Most likely if they have dead gone anyways. I could draw I could draw a push actually. I could redraw a push. Alright, nice whisper. This song will drive you mad. This song will drive you mad. Pay five for active trees. This well, song will drive you mad. mad. This song will drive you mad. Pay five for active trees. And well that might sound pretty bad. Why are they repping? This song will drive you mad. I this song yes. will drive you mad. Pay by for active trees. And well, that might sound pretty bad. That was an interesting move by them. This song will drive you mad. This song will drive you mad. Oh, Pay by for active trees. And well, that might sound pretty bad. All right, cling. Clingy cling. Do your thing. Block. Take 12 exactly. They're just killing a creature. Go up to 13. They go down to 8. The attack was everything. Killing a creature. Attack them down to 4. Attack them down to 2. Nah, I'm one card one card short. Honestly, it feels like playing a few fetch lands would have been worth it today. There's a bunch of spots where I was one or two cards short. I don't have a lot of bricks. A lot of my draws are Field of Runes. Alright, YOLO. Because they, they, they're also drawing cards. It's not like they get draw steps as well. Easy clap. Easy freaking clap. I mean, I might still lose, but... If they were at 8, it would have been a different story. Because then it, if they all attack, I, I just kill them. Maybe they have nothing. I'm getting someone with a field of runes. Might be too little too late, though. We think they're on this list. One Bone Crusher, one Boar, one Fury, one Merc, one Dismember. So they have, they have a few odds. Is attack profitable for them? Looks like it is. Close. That keeps me alive, though. That keeps me mucho alive. Four plus two plus one. Yeah, I just cling again. Should be good. Should be in the clear. Field of Runes not the worst. Takes them off red. Takes them off a few of their top decks. And I guess I should just play Bowmaster now. I even have Cheat Zone to finish them off. Do they have a single top deck that wins them the game? Yeah, just dismember. Just dismember. I right, so all these cards are lethal. Great. Yeah, I like anything that deals with shield red. Oh, good call. Shizu doesn't get that shotless. Hmm. Yeah, I've not been super good at drawing my rings today, but can't really complain when I'm five and one. Oh, they have rhinos this turn. Well, I guess I lose. I guess I need to top deck some more. Just dead on board still. 
That attack seems bad to me. But I could be wrong. I guess it seems fine. Oh yeah, no, they died because they attacked with Shawless Adrian. Oh, that's actually so sick. I held the held the sheet so entire entire league, entire challenge biding its time. You can't believe what fell. Hold Hold, hold the line, hold the Chizo. The genius of Gabriel Messina. I actually get sideboard cards. Ooh, Charma. Spell costs one less to cast for each one of them that could produce colorless. The next label play. The next label play. It's kind of annoying. Yata! All right, what's bad against him? Album seems bad. Too many clinks seems bad. Too many four drops probably bad, honestly. These blast zone can go. <laughs> Ted's only been watching this stream for years now. <laughs> like getting get getting got by the passives of the planeswalkers. Edict. Yeah, they have like. Questing Beast and Merc Tide and stuff. Like, double removal spell to counter one Rhino is okay. I think I was doing maybe something like that. Then one of each. You it's it's Edict's better than me. Salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here Those is all salt. bad. I don't the know why I would salt, that. The floor salt, the walls are salt. And to an extent, the air is salt. So it's like deciding if I want... Probably four Fiddle Push is good. Probably the third cling is good too. Oh, Bowmaster, right. Bowmaster is pretty bad. Ghost Quarter could be cool. Bruce Bowmaster is kind of okay, no? Crazy B, Lorian Revealed. Let's see. They're saying I see you are locked. Yeah, his breakers have never. <laughs> Never changed in the history of magic tournaments. I fetch basic. Weird. I mean, maybe if literally all my opponents win. And now it's like, I do not think if you lose, you get nine. It went from like, I went from being a lock to being like, I think. Oh, you're pretty sure. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> They're pretty sure. I don't know who say they watch my stream, I guess. They they closed my stream when we started the match. <laughs> pretty sure I'm nice, yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought when they got basic fourth, they might be on one man. I kind of love to see it though, people feeling like they need to bring in Blood Moon against me. I mean, Field of Rune didn't mess them up badly game one in their defense. They actually played it before playing Shroudless. Up subtlety. True, true. <laughs> Did I do Shizu game one? Yeah, I like the four swamp draw for the extra rubbings. I don't think the blood moon is why they're losing. Let's, let's, be, let's be fair. Commandeer, that'd be sick. That'd be deserved, honestly, if they, if they drew Commandeer here. And they're like slow rolling it too. How did my opponents do? Who do we play against? I juch. Was that one of our opponents? Joe oh, Bello, up a game. Gibi, up a game. Who just beat us? Oh, Garber lost, so that's bad for my breakers. Uriel up a game. I mean, it looks like my opens are doing pretty good right now, but... Like, if all my opens lose, my breakers probably don't hold up. If they drew a force here, I guess I have push and damnation. Okay, then Genka, subtlety now. 
Yeah, I can't imagine I'm going to lose this game, but I could draw a lot of lands. Already had two lands, though. So. Are you saying, chat, should I play, uh... Should I play Shield Red? No, not a good play. Come in, Stubbs Revolt. Who's laughing now? Nah, nah, they brought it in because... I mean, maybe they also thought I was Scoffer, but... No, because they've been watching the stream, so they know. They brought, they brought it in because the Field of Runes are still pretty good against them. Man for my interest, subtlety, maybe. I'm obviously not jamming Shield right here. Just Necromancia first. See what they do. I don't think I wanted to lead with Thoughtseize, right? Just bad. Necromancia means they're probably going to play Subtlety. Okay, just in case there's a third game. One Dismember, two Endurance, Bone Crusher. Wood Falls, Flame. I mean, they kept in all their force to trim the dispute. I'm not sure I would cut dispute in this matchup. A side note. So now I can just push this now. And eating them now, why not? Oh, I even have cling in my yard just in case. Okay. Seems like I should be fine. Down to nine, up to seventeen. Macy, good night. Take care. Nice. Just in case they rip a removal spell. Make them feel good about their blood moon. Oh, I misclicked. What the hell? Nothing changed. Gav has most of his mana base showing. Probably thoughts he's right. They're insistent, but see, I'm sure. How can you be sure? Once, once time it's sure, one time it's like prob pretty sure. Next time is I think. Like I, I don't even get it. Like do I get insurance? Yeah, I mean, it's it's all awkward that they're just being so insistent. Also, like, if I let them in, it means someone else is not making it. That actually won their matches, so... Like, why? Why you over someone else? This makes no sense. I mean, the argument would be that if I think Rhino is a great matchup for me, which, I don't know, it seemed kind of close, right? I don't think I have great matchups with this deck. No, no good matchups. No, are you showing that, that 30 second delay? Thanks, bye! <laughs> Give me the thanks, bye! What the hell is that? I mean, sorry, buddy, but I don't know. <laughs> Junk Meaner. Junk Meaner has been crushing. I think they've been crushing ones, though. I forget. Keep seeing their name recently. Junk Meaner, like, new Crickfish Shadow, Murktide Region, Murktide. Okay, so we're probably up against Murktide. Oh, it's the two rags, main two rags side world list. Or basically more counters. 
all good. Oh wait, I need to complain about being on the draw despite being C2. One day, one day they'll fix it. They're playing rhinos. I mean, they're Charlotte's, right? Even though their hand is all obnoxious. Yeah, I mean, player is an illusion. It doesn't matter. Wow. Hey, Cibro. Welcome. Welcome to the top eight of the modern challenge. Thanks for the pretty two months. Appreciate it. No master or cling. I don't have much to draw. I don't think I, I have one Thoughtseize in my main two. I guess I'll get Bomi into play. It matter down the line if they have. Oh no. All right, they have Dispute. Didn't matter down the line if they have Hardcast Lorien. So I could start going after their mana base and get an extra card in the yard for Kling, which could be relevant. Or I could believe. How many relevant cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. That's kind of a lot. That's a few too many to just field over in here. Um, two unknown cards. If they draw outburst, I probably lose. Right? I go outburst. They attack for eight. I go to ten. I play one ring, the dispute. Play shield red, it's even worse. Subtlety. Beats. Could cost me the game, honestly. I need another one ring. That's not it. Easy game. Just cut all the Bowmaster, we said. Yeah, it's Dan Pop. Dan Pop just threw a curse on us. Dan Pop, why'd you curse me? Be too fair and square. It's not very nice. How many lines should I have? 24, 25? You just two clings. Bowmaster is kind of nice if you know they're on a bunch of brazen door, but I do not know. Wow, it happened, chats. Look. If finally one of my opens drew one of their basics. They fetched another basic. Awkward. Any updates to Blue Black Control and Pioneer or new cards you may look in from the new set? Instant Speed Divination could be good. Don't have it all over the top of my head though. People are excited about that card. Breaks this list from yesterday's challenge. Now is it just as bad as the blue red list looks? The blue red list that I was gonna play. Is Thoughts is now even good? For all we know, their hand could be all lands. And double edict. Oh, I guess I played my land after tapping. Uh, well, speaking of mistakes being made. Oh, that was heinous. I guess I'll play it. Okay, that's great. Let's take the flame. Why is Legion Zen bad? Because it's narrow, it's sorcery speed. Just sorcery speed alone is like a huge liability. I'm a little surprised they didn't just flame in response there. Try to get ahead on cards. Okay, we know about dispute and no much else. It's not just say go. All oh, right, they have Rhino coming up. I forgot about that, not gonna lie. Oh, 
the land or bid the dispute? All right, questionable. Questionable at the best. All right, just a stomp. Can lose that. <clears throat> Guess I should just play the shield red, right? Maybe not. Maybe yes. What's better first? Shield red or edict? One second. I've done damnation first, actually. Why they forced using a dispute? I feel like they're ripping outburst. I mean, I guess I play shield right now. Since they're ripping outburst. Oh yeah, they're not a dispute. Okay, story checks out. Big fan happens to just not play Burn Crusher here, eh? All right, big fan. Let's see why you didn't play your Burn Crusher. I'm gonna say go. They might have drawn Outburst. That would make sense. All right, they actually did draw Outburst. That's all the fish. I guess not really. Oh, how many fire eyes gone too? I mean, I'm casting that nice whisper a thousand percent. There's just no way. I'm one short of push for questing beast. I guess I should go first. Still in first main, right? No swamp. Give them the speed mana. I have the perfect counterplay. All right, I'm in pretty bad spots. I have kind of a dead hand. They have 20 lethal cards. They have better top decks than me. My one ring suck. Be chilling? Okay. Damn, they even have the basic mountain. Oh, where's my cling? Damn. No cling. TG. Well, we ran good. We ran good till the top eight. Better than the uh, than other way around. They're just stomping me now. Save it for uh, in the deck. Yeah, any clings? Any shellies? I guess there's, I was thinking about just questing bees, but there's subtlety too. Maybe they baited me. Maybe they have subtlety in hand. That was probably bad. Play for beasts. I mean, they have one beast at best. Finning the deck is. I really don't want to draw land. Also, cutting them off one mana, forcing them to like fetch if I don't know. I don't know. It was probably bad though. This is kind of nuts though. We're both bricking. At least now I can beat an outburst. Yeah, I can beat that. Question is, do I take an untap step? It would cost me a lot of... If I take a non-tap step, I can't play any of my four mana cards. How many Damnations do I have left? I have Explosives too in my deck. Hmm. Oh, at least one? How many Damnations do I have left? One in the yard, just one. My four drops aren't even good. Like, I'm, like the one ring's not even that good. Would I even cast a one ring? Of course, I don't think it's freeze bombs are around force, but what else can I draw? Like so freeze up some mana for cling. If I draw land plus cling, I could play two spells. Yeah, I'll take a draw step, I think. That's what I that's what I get for trimming um uh, I mean cling to dust cards just too good. I 
It's karma for not scooping to sand pop. Should have scooped.